Mimi's Kitchen. Today is Monday, March the 8th, and it has been a beautiful day here in South Carolina. I'm glad to report that. And um, so, our cooking tonight, we're going to make potato salad and um, deviled eggs. I almost said egg salad, deviled eggs. And the thought behind this is Easter is coming up soon. It is the first Sunday in April, so that will be here before we know it. And so we thought maybe one of the things that we could do is start thinking about some things that would go with our Easter meal. Almost everybody has ham on Easter. And so potato salad and deviled eggs are two items that go good with almost anything that you choose to serve. So I have already started, um, I cut up a lot of my potatoes because I knew you didn't want to watch me cut potatoes up. But I am going to show you I use the red potatoes for my potato salad. I just find they have the best flavor. And so I love this little knife. It's just like a razor blade. And so we go cut this um, peeling off here. Won't take but a minute. My daddy used to say, Diane, for goodness sakes, don't peel all the potato off with the peeling. So that's why I love this little knife because it really just gets kind of right under the skin of the potato. So we got that. Rinse it off a little bit. Now, the main thing you want to remember when you're doing your potatoes is to try to keep them all about the same size. Because when they cook, you want to be sure that um, they all get done at the same time. So we just go do this right over here in the water. Okay, so keep them about, about that size. Because that's about the size of the ones that are already in there. You don't want them too small because when they cook, they'll get mushy. And that is one thing you try to watch out for in your potato salad is so that your potatoes do not get mushy. I'm just gonna cut that little side off there. Okay, now, cut my eye on high. And then we're gonna put salt in this water here. Good bit of salt, because potatoes take a good bit. So, we're gonna let this come to a boil and we'll just be right back. Okay, we've been going about five minutes. Now I want you to look, these potatoes are boiling good. So what you do is you've really got to keep an eye on them because you do not want them to get mushy. So we'll test them quite often. See, all of them are just about the same size. And uh, so that means that they should cook equally. Now, I will tell you this. If you have to do this in two steps, you can cut these potatoes up, cover them with water, and just stick a top on your pot and leave them, and you don't have to cook them right then. A lot of times when I'm doing potato salad for Sunday, I will cut my potatoes up on Saturday night, I cover them with water, and I just set them aside. And then the next morning, I go ahead and cook them. And, um, and so we'll, we'll keep watching these. And see, you can kind of see how they, you can almost tell the potato is getting done. And so what we'll do is we'll just test it off and see how that knife goes down through there. Well, it's still, you know, just a little, little bit. So we go cook them here just a few more minutes. And then what we'll do is we'll drain them good. And then once we drain them with good cold water, you want to drain them with good cold water because they will continue to cook even after we take them, even after we drain the hot water off of them. So you, um, you rinse them in good cold water and that stops the, the cooking process. And so that gets them right at the point where you want for your potato salad. Now, there are a lot of good potato salads that you can buy in the grocery store. But I will tell you this, if you ever make it from scratch, you probably will not go back to buying it in the store. 
because none of it compares. I've tried to fool my family. I can't tell you how many times. It just does not work. Always it's like, Mama, I don't, this doesn't really taste like your salad. And I'm like, mm, no, it's not my salad. So I quit, I quit that. I, I don't, I don't try to fool them anymore. So I, and potato salad is something that's just so easy to do that um, it just doesn't take that much time and it, um, it tastes so good. So go to the little bit of trouble to make it and actually you can make it a day or two ahead because sometimes the longer it sits, the better it tastes. So we'll keep cooking these potatoes here. All right, we'll check one here. Well, if I can catch one. All right, see it's still just a little um, not done. And you know, I'll tell you this too, you can almost smell when potatoes are done. Now I know that sounds weird, but once you cook them two or three times, then you can almost smell when they are done. So, and they're getting that smell now. So they're getting ready to be done. So we'll be back in a minute. I think our potatoes are done now. So we go test one here. So see how that knife just went right through there? So those are ready. We go cut that off. Get right over here, and we are going to run them right through our colander. All right, it's the cold water, and we're going to run the cold water right over. Them. I like to rinse them really good and cool those potatoes down and then too it makes it easier when you start working with them because if they're too hot you have mashed potato salad so you don't want that so we go cool them off really good okay all right those are nice and cool I'm going to let that drain there for a minute. Now, what we're going to do here is we'll get all of our ingredients ready. That is eight potatoes. And usually a pretty good rule of thumb is if you're making potato salad for a group, it's a half a potato per person. Because you could put eggs in it and some other things. So, eight potatoes. And I have six eggs here. So I'm gonna chop my eggs up. And I like to do, I like to chop them up pretty fine because I don't want hunks of um, eggs in the in the potato salad. So we're gonna chop these up good. This is a nice little thing I got here. I don't even know how long I've had it but I've been using it for a long time. So we go. I boiled these eggs um, earlier this afternoon. And for those that missed the other video, I'm gonna tell you a good way to do your eggs. All right, I put the eggs and cover them with water. And then I put about a tablespoon of vinegar doesn't have to be a tablespoon, just pour you some vinegar in there. Bring your eggs to a boil, boil them for about mm, six or eight minutes. Cut your eye off, put the top on the pot, and let them sit there for about, oh, 15 or 20 minutes. Then drain that water off and cover them immediately with ice cubes. And then they will peel so good. Okay. See, that's nice and chopped up. So we're going to get all this stuff here together. All right. Our potatoes. Our eggs. Whoa.
Okay, now, this is the combination is, is some celery in here, a little bit of celery, a little bit of onion, and then this is from your little spring onion, your little green onion. So put those in. And then when I'm making potato salad, I like to use the dill relish. And, and I do like the relish because it's chopped up so fine. So I don't measure this, I just kind of squeeze it in there. So that looks like enough. Okay, now, and this is just we're gonna do just a squirt of mustard. That's all I can say. Oop, that's enough. We don't want too much mustard in it. So now, next thing. When I start putting my mayonnaise in there, I don't put a whole bunch in there at first because once you get it in there, you can't take it out, but you can sure add more. So that's probably what, maybe a little over half a cup. So we'll start mixing this. And this looks so pretty in the dish when you get it all mixed together. And see how pretty that egg makes it? The egg just adds such a beautiful look to your potato salad and see that's that's enough mayonnaise we don't want any more mayonnaise in there so hey so there it is all right now let's put it in our dish all right this is our dish here Now we're going to sprinkle that with dill weed. You don't have to do this, but hey, it just makes it pretty. And there we go. A nice bowl of potato salad to go with our meal on Easter Sunday. So we'll be right back and we're going to do some deviled eggs. All right, now we're going to make our deviled eggs. And so, I didn't have one of those pretty little dishes with all the little holes in it. So I thought, well, you know what? We'll make this look like grass. So this is just shredded iceberg lettuce. And you get it already shredded. So that'll give you a pretty little bed to make for your deviled eggs. Now... This is really simple. All we do is we cut this egg in half, just like that. All right, and then take the yellow out. We'll put that in there. Take the yellow out. Set that in. And if I were you, when I'm making deviled eggs, I always boil at least one more egg than I need. And the reason for that is a lot of times these eggs are cracked where we don't even see where they are cracked. And then you'll have one egg that will break open and it'll be you won't be able to use it. So that automatically makes you have one less egg. So I always just cook an extra one that way, then I know I'm going to have enough to make what I want. So we'll be right back. All right, now, all we do here is just mash these eggs up. So it just takes just a little bit of effort, not much, because these are pretty soft. We get them all mashed up. Now, the only thing I put in my, dev my deviled eggs is just mayonnaise and a little bit of mustard. Some people put pickles in them, but we just never have. 
done that. And so that that's one thing that you can kind of do yourself, do according to, you know, what your taste is and what your family likes. But we just don't care for the pickles in there. All right, so now here again, we're going to do the same thing like we did the potato salad. We're not going to put an over abundance amount of these of mayonnaise in here because if you get too much it's going to be runny and you don't want it runny so I can tell we're going to have to have more than that though so while we add a little bit more okay we'll put that in there we're going to put a squirt of mustard And that's just barely a squirt. Okay, now, see that consistency there? That's just about exactly what you want. Now, let me get my salt and pepper. Now, we just put just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. All right. See that's, that's all you have to do. Now we're gonna fill the eggs. This spoon works good because I know just about exactly how much to put in each egg and come out with the right amount. Isn't that pretty? So you see how good that would look on your either table or buffet, however you serve your Easter meal. this last bit out here. And there we go. All right, now I'm going to get some paprika and sprinkle on a, a few of them. Not everybody likes paprika on their eggs. So what we do at my house is we just sprinkle just a few of them. So, but tonight, just to make it look pretty, I'm gonna sprinkle all of them. Woo! I haven't got a good helping. That one too. So, now, look at those side by side. Isn't that beautiful? And doesn't that make you think of an Easter lunch and a nice big old ham over there sliced up and some vegetables and maybe a fruit dish of some kind? So it's, um, it's something that's easy to make. So everybody start thinking about your Easter lunch and start getting your things ready, get your mindset, get your menu in, in your mind. And um, so the next couple of weeks, We'll make maybe a dessert. I think next week we're going to do pound cake. And so that is something good to have on hand. If you will notice, I always have a pound cake on my counter. I don't know why, but I just love a pound cake. And I just always have one. You never know who's going to come by and you want to offer them a cup of coffee and a piece of pound cake. Or take a pound, some pound cake to a friend. So it's just a good thing to have. And it's easy, easy, easy to make. So that's what we'll be doing next. So everybody have a good evening and shine for Jesus.